Hi, welcome to this video, Dave Silbert, Forex Volatility. If you want to trade Forex markets um, for profit, you really do need to have an understanding of volatility. And many traders don't really uh, learn about its impact on prices, and you, know, you really should make it an essential part of your Forex education. So what is Forex volatility? Basically, it's how far prices have moved from a mean or average price. So if you have a mean or average price, it smooths out those short-term fluctuations. It's normally a simple moving average. And if you look at Forex pairs, over the longer term, they tend to trend up you know, fairly slowly and down fairly slowly. But in the short term, I'm talking in you know, periods of a few days to maybe a few weeks, you'll see big volatility come in, which spike prices too far away from an average price if you look at charts over the longer term, you'll see those price spikes always fade and, and yeah, prices come back to more realistic levels. Um, and yeah, these spikes are always going to be there and they're caused by news events, sentiment and basically greed and fear coming into play. Greed will always push prices too far to the upside in a bull trend and too far to the downside in a bear trend. Now, if you have an understanding of volatility, you can trade these price spikes for profit. So you can trade high volatility. And you know, if you want to take contrary trades, i.e. when prices move too far to the upside, you have got the best risk reward if you can time your trading signals correctly. And it's the reverse if prices have gone too far to the downside. So how do you trade these price spikes and make money from them? Well, a very good tool, um, and you know, many Forex traders use it, is the Bollinger Band. A Bollinger Band has a mean price, which is a 20-day moving average to smooth out um, you know, the price over the longer term. And then it's got a deviation of two each side to basically show how far prices have moved from the average price. So the wider the bands are apart, the more volatile the price is in terms of daily ranges, the closer it is, um, the closer the outer bands are to the, the mid band, the less volatile prices are. So you'll notice with a, with a Bollinger band that when prices get up to the outer bands or spike outside, those price spikes don't last for long. So what you can do is you can look to trade in a contrary fashion. And if you get your market timing right, these trades offer a fantastic risk to reward. You have low risk and high reward. And yeah, anyone who reads my member center knows that I use a very simple you know, trading system to you know, basically trade those price spikes that move too far from the average, use some momentum indicators, trend lines, and then look to get in contrary trades and see those prices move back to the average. Now, a lot of traders are frightened of trading high volatility. But high volatility is something that you know, all Forex traders should learn to love. You'll never make money in low volatility. If the Bollinger Bands are very close together, prices are going to tend to be range bound. You don't want to be trading range bound markets with low volatility. You just won't make any money out of them. You want high volatility. So look for those big price spikes and look to trade them. So when the Bollinger Band yeah, you see them really expand and prices have gone outside, use momentum and trend lines to get a contrary trade in. Also, if you're a breakout trader, the best breakouts come from low to high volatility. So if you've got a trading range that's been in, in place for a long period of time, prices are trading very tightly, the Bollinger Bands are tight and suddenly you see a breakout, the volatility increases, you've got big daily range, that should be a good breakout um, because just indicating the supply and demand situation has changed and that breakout will probably follow through. Yeah, with volatility, you can use Bollinger Bands. I've just you know, said that's the most popular standard deviation indicator to indicate uh, a move from the average price. But you can also experiment around with your own um, standard deviation tools. You, know, you just need a, a mid price or an average price and then experiment with deviations from that you know, sort of um, mean average price. And I know a lot of traders who've actually done very simple systems, you know, almost purely based around 
deviation from the mean, trading into those price spikes away from the mean and making great money. So with Forex volatility, um, you know, you can actually harness it in your favor. The high volatility offers you great trading opportunities. For country traders, you know, those big price spikes offer some fantastic opportunities for profit. It's only a, a brief introduction to Forex volatility today. Um, but yeah, make it part of your essential Forex education. Uh, learn about Bollinger Bands. Also, experiment around and try and develop your own systems as well. It's far easier than many people think to trade you know, standard deviation from the mean price. It's a great way to trade. It's based on timeless logic, which is that humans will always spike prices too far away through greed or fear um, from you know, fair value. And you know, those price spikes, you just check back on your charts, they always fade. So develop a, a simple system based around you know, trading forex volatility, and you'll find it can make you some great long-term yeah, trading profits. Thank you very much for watching me. Take care. Have a good day.